The audio contains more letters. Submissions are welcome at Deersugars at New York Times.com. Mobile readers can find Dear Sugars on the podcasts app, iPhone and iPad, or Radio Public, Android and Tablet. Dear Sugars, I am unable to feel sexual desire with any regularity due to chronic pain, mild depression, and necessary use of medications. Other people struggle with desire for other reasons, such as a past experience of sexual trauma. It's also hard to have a relationship fall apart for that reason and difficult to re-enter the dating world with that cloud over your head. In a previous column, you encouraged the high libido member of a couple to ask his lower libido partner to just do it, but I find it discouraging to be told that people like me should be cured of our lack of desire. I sometimes want to have sex, and I take advantage of those rare occasions to reconnect with my partner, but between those times I feel compelled to fake interest. How I should exist in relationships when I don't possess erotic desire. Not feeling it Cheryl Strayed, I feel for you. There's a tremendous burden that goes along with feeling as if you're always disappointing your partner and a different, but just as awful, kind of burden that comes with agreeing to do something more often than you want to. Both dynamics negatively impact your relationship, and they also deplete your happiness and sense of self-worth. The first step in making change in our lives is acknowledging that a change needs to be made. I hope your letter means that you're ready to do that. Steve Amund, I'm glad you decided to write us. We heard from others who struggle to feel desire and who feel pressured by their partners and themselves. You're also right that sometimes those measures that might lead to a higher sex drive, such as dropping a medication, can pose other risks. You're under no obligation to become more erotically enthusiastic for your partner. Your only obligation is to be honest with him, and to live with the consequences of that honesty. To put that more affirmatively, you may want to find a partner whose desires are more predicated on non-sexual forms of intimacy. C.S., there are essentially four choices couples make when faced with the conundrum you present, not feeling it. They are. 